Hi, I'm Luke and this is Karen and we're Make Daily. So today we're going to be going through um, the next step. So in our previous video we did a one part mould and this turned out to be really great. So we moulded this uh, small Thor part using a 3D printed wall. So this was great because it gave us uh, a nice clean mould and it gave us a mark on the outside of the mould which was really nice because it means we can see how much resin we, uh, we need per part instead of having to write it on with Sharpie and we waste less silicon which is always good yeah <laughs> it is because silicon is expensive so we're going to do something similar today except this time we're going to do it with a two-part mold so the concept of a two-part mold is um, when you've got an object that doesn't just have one important face or it has undercuts uh, so this part here is the second part of that clip can you just pass me that piece there so we cast this, which is only really important on the top face. So you'll see the back face is black and the front is this chrome effect because that's what people are going to see. On this piece, now this is just the master, um, we're actually interested in the inside and the outside. Um, but there's no real good way to mould this. Like if we mould it this way, then we're going to have like an imperfect surface here because that will be where the raw resin is and we'll have to sand it. And if we want to do metal effects similar to this, it, it'll show. Um, and if we do it on the back face, then there'll be an undercut in the mould. So that's not very good. So today we're going to do something very similar. We've printed out uh, not one, but two moulds. So the concept will be, we're going to load up our master onto the plate, like so. We're going to glue our wall down. We're going to, we'll put some clay on the inside to, to break apart. Um, to make the split line inside of the part, inside of this, this crevice. Um, we'll pour the silicon, wait for it to set up, then we'll demold it. We'll leave the, well, we'll take the shell off. We'll leave the part in the silicon. Then we're gonna flip it over and fit that silicon in this new jacket. Now this new jacket is uh, the right height um, for the second part of the mold. Trying to keep my head straight in how this is all going to work is a bit complex because this is all new and I've not seen anybody try it and I'm not really sure if it's even going to work. So it we is. Have a... We have put the glue gun on this time though. Yeah, we put the glue gun on in, in preparation so... this time. So we're a little bit more prepared this time. So we're going to see. So we've got, we've got two mold walls, two different heights. So the idea being that's for one part and then the other one is going to be to hold the first part and to seal and to do the second part. So let's see how it goes. So similar to our previous video, you're going to need, if you're doing an SLA print, and it's always great to seal it with a clear coat, um, and don't seal it with one that takes two hours to set, so this video is a little bit later than it should have been. Um, you're going to need your, your silicon, so today we're using Moldstar 20T, and you're going to need... Moldly. Yes, <laughs> So it's great, and especially on this one. You can kind of scrimp when you're doing one part moulds about whether you need um, mould release, but on two part moulds you absolutely need it. Because although we've said nothing sticks to silicon, silicon sticks to silicon. Yeah. So if you don't spray enough release, um, then your, your two part mould will become a block mould <laughs> and you won't be able to get your part out and you'll have to cut it and it'll be a bit messy. So hopefully today everything's going to go well. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. So let's let's go with it. So I've got my clay. I've actually already got some that I've already broken open. So we're gonna dive into that. This is just um, new plastic polymer clay. Nothing special. You can get all sorts. You can get monster clay and all sorts of weird stuff. Um, but we just need to sort of heat it up. You made this much up. This is probably like far too much. We probably only need about half. So. Someone's effort was all in vain. You can make a little sculpture. <laughs> so um, in terms of tools, um, because we want to make a really clean separation line, I've got like, these are just some cheap dental, dental. tools like you can buy just for like home dental work, not that anybody ever does that. Um, so yeah, we've got like toothpicks and little picks just for getting in little details and crevices. So mm -hmm. I'm going to take my, this is also what's going to stick it down to the board for us because I don't want to glue it because as we saw last time, oh, when you glue it down, sometimes the master uh, oh, breaks and we, we don't, we don't. For a two part mold, we definitely don't no. that. 
So I don't want to super glue it. Um, so I'm hoping the, the plasticine will hold it down. So in fact, we probably don't even need that much. I'm going to take one master and I'm going to just try and noodle us a piece. No pressure. So much pressure. Yeah, that should do. So I've kind of squished it in there. But it's going to be okay. So I'm just filling up this side of the mold entirely. I'm not really too concerned because I'm going to put it down on the board in a minute. You can see it's all sticking out there. And I'm probably fast forward this bit as well, actually. Hey guys, so we're back uh, and I've finished up filling up the inside of the, um, of, of the part. So this is the parting line. Because it's an internal geometry, it didn't need to be super clean, but the cleaner the better because that will make, uh, make sure there's no small little thin slithers of silicon, which are the bits that will break off the mold and, and eventually degrade it. So we, we want to keep it as clean as possible. So you can see I've done it just short of the, the surface in there. Um, so that there's a little uh, piece that sits in and then the join line will be hidden and never seen so which is hopefully the, the best part of it so i need to do a little bit of cleanup um, but we need to do next is fit to the board and then we're going to go through keys so i'm just going to go through that right so basically the keys are um the um <laughs> <laughs> do it with symbols Get keys so basically what the keys do is it's a registration between the two parts. So basically it just helps them align and register um, together as demonstrated by the looks. Uh, yeah, so we're going to use little um, dome head nuts, tiny little M3 ones because we've only got a limited amount of space around the, around the edge of our part. So we've only really got a tiny little area there. So we're gonna we're gonna push this down. Hopefully it sticks to the board. Trim off any excess. We'll give it a little bit of a clean up uh, with some isopropyl, and then I think we should be should be ready to go. So those nuts, I think we might have to still super glue down. So if you pass us the the glue, that's great. But we're gonna make sure we do the glue bit last because glue is scary. I've got one here. And we've got you to fix. <laughs> See, I was prepared this time. Be helpful. Yeah. So all I've got here is I've got a little M3 nut, uh, dome nut on the edge of a M3 screw. So we do need some registration in this central area, just so that it doesn't misalign when the two halves of the mold close and the resin starts exotherming and contracting, expanding. It typically won't move very much, and I think it would be fine. Once again, it's a hidden area, but we want to make the best mold possible. Yeah. Even small molds having. Um, that little bit of extra care and attention can make all the difference. So we were actually struggling to find a shape that would be nice. So we're gonna just use this dome head and I'm just gonna put some small impression because I don't wanna like overbear it. I just want it to be something nice. Just trying not to make a mess. Okay, so we've got five little impressions there. So this should be fine. I'm probably just gonna try and flatten down some of the, the higher bits because we don't really want it to be sticking out all over the place. Try not to make too much of more of a mess of my mold. But I did anyway. When you're doing small things, everything just gets harder. Like people who do miniatures, like, they do crazy hats stuff. Off to them because... Yeah, hats off because it's really hard to work on this tiny scale, especially for molding. So I think that's good. That's it's only a subtle amount, but it's it's just enough so that when we put them together, they're gonna sort of they're gonna just locate in those holes. They don't need to be huge keys because um, the external ones are gonna do that. So I'm gonna push this down on the board and hopefully it doesn't like distort all the rest of it too much. Okay, we're all good. So we've got our uh, our six little locating studs in the place that we want them. Which is great. Check everything's good. Yep, all good. So we've got our we've got our base piece. Well, sorry, we've got our master, our dividing wall, 
our keys are all in place and now we can glue down the outer wall. So we can take our shoulder of the two walls, which is this one. Okay. So this is the one with the 30 mil reversed on it. Um, and we're gonna just lay that on. We've got plenty space. Yeah. In preparation? Yeah. Once again, we'll get a little in one corner, a little in another, and then watch as it oozes all over the place because it's a horrendously messy <laughs> glue gun. Such a messy glue gun. So we're going to move this out of the way now uh, and then we're going to mix our silicon. I've already shown silicon mixing in a previous video so we're not going to waste time doing that again. You can go back to video one if you want to see us mixing silicon. Um, but yeah, measure out your A, measure out your B, off you go. So we'll be back ready with the next silicon. <laughs> like Karen was having finger trouble getting the camera. I'm like, the camera's good, we need to pour the silicon. <laughs> so we've mixed our A and our B together so it's in a nice mix. We mix for about a minute and a half. Now we're gonna get this in. If you can hold that. That's it, we're good. So we'll come back to that in a bit and we'll get back to it when it's set and then we'll do the second half. Okay guys, we're back. So it's time to do demold the first half. So once again, we can check in our cup to check that the mix is good. See if it's any, if it's ready yet. It's pretty good. Not really seeing much residue on the bottom, so that's good. Now our mix feels good. Not feeling any stickiness. Maybe a little, but fingers crossed it'll be okay. Thank you that. And now it's time to do it use our knife again. There go. Excellent. So some of that is pretty good. So we'll just get shot of those. We don't want them in there. And yeah, it feels all nicely cute. So now what we're going to do is we're going to leave the part in and we're going to just take out all of this excess because we don't want any of that in there. Hey guys, so we're back. So we've cleaned up the mould and we've taken out the first half. So if you don't quite know how we did that, obviously you can pop back to the previous video we did, um, which showed us taking one out. So now we've taken out the first half, now we're going to put on the jacket for the second one. So obviously we've still left our master in, so hopefully it's still got a good seal around the outside. But before we do that, we're going to give it a good spray with mold release. So if you get our sacrificial board. Yeah, because this makes everything slippy. Be very careful if it goes on the floor because obviously it does. Like it said, make everything so very It's probably like well more than what I need. But... <laughs> As you can see, it goes everywhere, so that's why I was saying you bought out the floor. Yeah. It so it just it just stops the silicon from sticking to more silicon. Okay, so now for this one, what I'm going to do is, rather than trying to push it in this way, I'd be a bit worried about it being deformed, so I'm actually going to, sorry, if I push it that way, I think it might peel off the mould, so I'm actually going to try and make sure I push it in from the top down, which hopefully will keep it nicely sealed in, he says. me a few little minutes to sort of um, jeer and put this into the position I wanted so it just took a little bit longer 
I'm not quite sure what I do to change that next time. I might make it like two separate walls that come together. Just having the hole the exact same size as the first one. So I've lost now. There it is. Yeah, so having it the same size means it's really tight to push on. Um, I was hoping it would just sort of slide in nicely. It didn't quite go that way because it was quite tight. Which is good because it means it makes a good seal, but also it's a little tough. But I think we're nicely lined up now after a bit of work. But maybe, maybe we can think of a way to optimize that. Maybe you've got some ideas. Feel free to put it in the comments below. So now we're going to um, spray this with a bit more mold release now that I've had my fingers all over it. So that it doesn't stick. And we're going to mix some more silicon and we're going to put it on top. And that should be the end of our two part mold. So join us again in a minute. A few moments later. Now we're going to demold it. So actually, Karen's going to demold it this time. Oh God, no pressure. <laughs> so you can sit there and play with your play doh all episode. Just time to work, Karen. I made a cat. Uh -oh. <laughs> no. Yes, give me the no. cat. <laughs> it hasn't even got eyes, Karen. <laughs> Stare into its soul. Okay. Yeah, never go into like sort of any of that kind of thing. Right. <laughs> Words of advice to the viewers. Okay, <laughs> so at this point, how I envisage, and, and maybe this will be a good way for me to work out how to teach people. We'll check the silicon first. I think that looks good. It looks like a good mix. I think. <laughs> yeah, Dex. I think so. It's, it's... not giving away anything like that. No, it's not giving away, it's good. So, to get it out, um, what you do is grab the mould, flip it so the brim is towards you, which is this little, this little bit here. <laughs> get rid of that bit. And push. <laughs> and like, move your thumb. You can, yeah, no. Like, not just in it. No, this is a really solid mould. So, like in our previous video, we've never done this before. And so this is interesting. This is why you use a lot of these. Ooh, look at that. Right, so this. So, the way you want to ease it is always around the edges. So you kind of want to just go around and ease a little bit gently. So, this is why. Oh, sorry, do you want no, to, no, uh, no, no. do you want to do the random thing? No. Okay. So there's the other key. Oh, oh this is such a good mold. I'm really happy with it. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, okay. Just come up with that thing. And there you go. So. Cool. That bit. Do you want to do that bit? Yeah. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Okay, so I'm like, as much as I was quite hesitant because I was a bit worried about this, like, this has worked really it's well. Out really nicely. I, think. I mean, we're not really going to know until we do a cast uh, and do Let's a pull, do but yeah, we will do. But like, yeah, that's really clean. I'm really happy with how that's turned out because, as you can so see. so cool. Oh no, the little GoPro turned off. You'll have to look at it here. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just need to it to a dead no. I, I think GoPro. so, yeah. Oh well, okay. Ta -da. Oh, it so, looks so good. the detail inside, it looks like we've got all of the detailing. Well, I, I've um, got the inside detail here. Well, I've oh, got the that outside. One. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, like either way, this, the detailing is amazing. Yeah, really this good. just came out really good. Any. So I'm happy with that. Um, I really want to do a uh, mold now. Yeah, so... Now you can see, as Karen was saying, the point of those keys. The point of those keys is to align one half of the mold to the other. So when we put it together, like so, 
that it all fits nicely. So we'll put it in and we'll squish it down like that and then that'll be it. And we know we can put exactly 13 mil because it's written on the mold. <laughs> so that was uh, 3D printing a two part mold. And now you're gonna see some pretty footage of a finished cast, which is awesome that I'm totally guessing <laughs> and hoping it comes out good. So uh, I'm Luke. And I'm Karen. And we're Mick Daily. <laughs> oh no, don't drop me. No, don't do that. <laughs> That's really pretty. Just hands! Hang on. <laughs> we good? Let's mold. No, I want to mold! <laughs> We're still experimenting with filming styles and lighting and audio recording. So if there's any things like that that you want to comment on, please do because we're still any help with these. Yeah, we're still like figuring it out, I guess. Quality control cat is watching you. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna have a little scratch here in front of the camera. <laughs> you are a funny cat. Are you gonna just fall asleep on the table, Gabriella? <laughs> Catch you later, guys. Bye. Bye.